This presentation is about Manuel Alvarez Bravo. About him. He was born on February 4, 1902 in Mexico City. He was a self-taught photographer and bought his first camera at the age of 20. Later on, in the late 30s, he taught photography at the San Carlos Academy. His style developed from the study of foreign and local photography journals and surrealism became a major theme in the pictures throughout his career. His style. His work went through several different phases. In the late 1920s, he took close-up pho photographs that transformed the subject into an artistic abstraction. In the early 1930s, he captured the urban landscapes of Mexico City, capturing the everyday life. And later on in his life, he focused on the surrealism. <coughs> Egg laying. 1965. This image depicts a young Mexican girl trying to get an egg from chicken. This is interesting because it demonstrates how Alvarez was set on capturing the life of peasants, not the usual type of photography. He uses portraits to show the aspects of life that aren't normally photographed. Bicycle to the Sky, 1931. This image depicts a bicycle hanging on a pole suspended in the air. This photograph grabbed my attention because I have never seen anything like it before. This picture just seems random. It's like something you'd see as you were walking out on the street one day. Most, pho most photographers choose to portray the glorious parts of life, but Alvarez chose to portray the true parts. Unpleasant Portrait, 1945 this image depicts a person with their hair covering their face, making an almost disturbing expression. Most portraits we see are of beautiful women or men fancy clothes, not of someone trying to look unpleasing. He uses the shadows across the person's face to bring out its, their disturbing expression. Una Escalera Grande, 1930. This photograph depicts a person holding a jar over their head. I like this image because to me it symbolizes how peasants were trying to make a living but unable to climb the ladder of success. This person, looks to be in the poor class, is in the shadows of the ladder. Alvarez uses these shadows to explain to us that this person is under the ladder but is unable to climb above it. En su propia Caracal, in her own jail, 1950. In this picture, a girl is sitting in the window of her house, covered by crossing shadows. She is staring off into the distance, almost as if she is dreaming about her life. These shadows crossing over her represent that she is stuck in jail, which is the struggles of her own life. Using the black and white reduces the distraction of color and brings out the importance of the shadows in this picture. Casillo en el Barrio del Nino, 1990. This picture shows a group of kids in the back and a kid dancing in the front while fireworks go off in the middle. This shows that even though people may be impoverished, kids always find a way to have fun and enjoy themselves. The black silhouette in the middle focuses your sight towards its action of almost skipping and brings about life to this picture. The themes of his work. His work is unlike that of a usual photographer. His photographs aren't as beautiful, but they tell stories of the people of Mexico. He portrays the hardships of life, but also the joys of it as well. The Mexican culture is truly vibrant in some of his works, and his use of black and white adds to the emotional touch of his subjects.